Uh, Stephen Engel, our Chief North Asia Correspondent, joins us right now from the Beijing offices, in fact, of perhaps one of those competitors, Pony AI, which is already running robo-taxi fleets in China with its partner, Toyota. Steve, what can you tell us about this exercise and endeavor? Yeah, that's right. I mean, they've been doing these uh, on-road testings. I'm talking about Pony AI uh, for the last six years. In fact, they've been running actual uh, real-time taxi services in this particular district, Yizhuang District, down in southern Beijing uh, for the last year and a half. It's about 80 square kilometer area where you can hail a robo-taxi without a driver with your app, and then they will take you in the, to a, your destination as long as it's within this 80 square kilometers. Now, in fact, there's or 60 square kilometers. There's a bigger district where they're also doing the same thing down in Guangzhou. In Nansha district, it's some 800 square kilometers. Enough about me. Let's talk about the car, because that's what we're here for. This is the particular <laughs> latest generation model, the sixth generation model. It's a Toyota Sienna, and it looks like a normal uh, Sienna from Toyota, but it is packed with uh, the AI and the systems and software from Pony AI. There are, in this particular model, 11 cameras. As you can see, this is one of them on the side. This is a radar panel here as well. We can come to the front of the car and see also more of the technology. A couple of more cameras. As I said, there are 11 in total in this car. This is radar here. And up here is a more of a, in this latest generation, more of an integrated LIDAR, radar, and camera system up on the top. Essentially, you hail the taxi on your app, it arrives without a driver, and you get in. If the cameraman can come with me this way, he asked me not to go too far, but essentially you get in. There's another screen in here where you put in your destination, you confirm your identity, and it takes you to where you want to go. Wow. Mm. So cool, Steve. Um, okay, so, so Pony AI is doing that. Who, who else in China is, is developing rival systems to the FSD? Everyone, right? I mean, if Tesla is coming in with full force, I mean, essentially after the first quarter results, they said if if you believe that uh, essentially EVs are the future, uh, autonomous is even more so. And I'm paraphrasing, but again, you look. At, I have the list of the other Chinese companies. They're the who's who of the EVs that we saw last week at the auto show. BYD is inf investing lots of money. Also, Neo has its NOP Plus system that they are developing. Xpeng has the city navigation guided pilot NGP it began trials in 2022 and no doubt the big tech companies that we saw there at the auto show Xiaomi coming out with its first car the SU7 it's going to be loaded as well with its driver assistance uh, autonomous programs uh, I believe it's going to be available as of August and Huawei has its ADS systems and Huawei doesn't have a branded car but they have multiple multiple partners in manufacturing and technology and other car makers where it's Huawei inside. So they are, without a doubt, building out its autonomous driving capabilities that will go into cars. So there's lots and lots of competition, Elon Musk, here in the market. He sees it, but he believes, obviously, his FSD system is a game changer, as we heard yesterday uh, from Dan Ives, the analyst, who says this is a game changer for Tesla, but he's going to have stiff competition. Let's face the fact.